And today, as you know, we're going to look at teaching social skills. Very crucial thing with Asperger's. In fact, it's probably the most important single thing we can do. And as parents and teachers, it is absolutely up to us to instill the basics. Now, if I could list one significant thing that Asperger's children lack besides eye contact, it would have to be manners and basic social skills. These skills are not intuitive for Asperger's children. They have to be learned. And again, as parents, it's up to us to teach them. I want to ask you a question here. Why do we tend to teach manners backwards? Why do we teach manners backwards? Now, what I mean by that is, instead of consistently teaching our Asperger's children social skills, we tend to wait until something wrong happens, and then we correct them. Now, imagine using this approach in a driver's education class, for example. They'd put you in a manual transmission car with no training. They'd turn on the engine and shove the car into the street, expecting you to learn to drive from the helpful suggestions yelled at you by other drivers. Now, does anybody think that's an optimal learning situation? Probably not. Now, to give us as parents and teachers the benefit of the doubt, we don't use poor teaching tools on purpose. I understand that. We do what seems obvious at the time, but personally, as I look back, I'm sort of amazed that I kept trying the same thing for so long when it wasn't getting any good results. Some of the signs and symptoms of Asperger's include the following. Children with Asperger's tend to engage in one-sided, long-winded conversations without noticing if the listener is even listening. They also tend to display unusual nonverbal communication. For example, they may lack eye contact or have very few facial expressions, or they may have an awkward body posture. Um, they also tend to show an intense obsession with just one or two specific subjects. For example, your Asperger's child may may really be into baseball statistics or train schedules or the weather or reptiles or something to that effect. The problem here is that they tend to engage in that activity to the exclusion of relationships with people. They also tend to not really understand uh, others' feelings, and uh, it's not that they are insensitive or uncaring or selfish. They simply cannot empathize or put themselves in someone else's shoes. They have a hard time reading other people and understanding their humor. Uh, oftentimes they'll speak in a voice that's somewhat monotonous or rigid. And Asperger's kids can be quite clumsy sometimes. And uh, so suffice it to say that they have inappropriate or minimal social interactions. And in some cases, they simply lack common sense. Now, guess what all of these symptoms have in common? They all impact how relationships are going to go with the Asperger's child. Now, keep in mind that because Asperger's can present patterns of behaviors and problems that differ wild, widely from child to child, there isn't going to be a typical or prescribed treatment regimen. However, there are a lot of things that can be very beneficial. For example, parent education and training, specialized educational interventions, social skills training, language therapy, sensory integration training, psychotherapy or behavioral cognitive therapy, and in some cases medications. But look at what's at the top of the list parent education and training. That's you. So we as parents, uh, we are charged with the responsibility of teaching our Asperger's child social skills because we're going to be around him or her more than anybody else. If I were working one-on-one, -on -one, you know, with your child, I may only have 14 to 18 hours of influence time with him. You'll literally have thousands of hours of influence time with your child.